Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror videos, I'm going to give you my top 10 scariest films that I have in my collection that I've actually watched. I did put up a community post about what would be your scariest films that you've ever seen, and a lot of those films were already in my recommendations, so those will be included in the stack. And then the other ones that were listed that I haven't checked out yet, I'll definitely check those out. But first up, at number 10, I have selected Sinister. Now, Sinister is a um, very good atmospheric film with um, some very strange occurrences that happened in the house. And I've only seen this movie twice. It's definitely time for me to rewatch it, but I do remember um, how scary it was. And so this right here would be my number 10 pick. At number nine is The Conjuring. Man, I really loved this movie when it came out. I enjoyed the jump scares. They were placed just perfectly in, within the movie. Of course, this right here is the first of the incredible um, franchise that they've created for The Conjuring Universe. And so this would definitely be number nine. To me, I thought it was very good and well executed. Okay, at number eight, I have selected Insidious. This is another one that's very, to me, very similar to The Conjuring Story. It's another one of those um, ghost type stories. And the way that they did this film, um, I was always surprised um, at the different appearances of the different um, ghosts and different things throughout the movie. And th so I, I did find this one to be scary and I really enjoyed seeing this one in the theater. Okay, at number um, seven, I have selected The Silence of the Lambs. Um, this right here, of course, is a classic um, horror thriller type story. And I just enjoyed the performances. I thought Anthony Hopkins did a great job as Hannibal Lecter. And of course, Jodie Foster as Clarice. I just enjoy the story. I know this, to me, um, doesn't really show up much on my horror list because I do consider it more of a thriller crime type movie, but there are a lot of ho um, horror elements in it, and it is a scary film, so I included this in my selection. Okay, at number six is The Strangers. Now, I saw The Strangers in the theater. Um, there weren't very many, from what I can remember, there weren't very many people in the theater, and I do remember setting it up closer to the screen because I think I came in as the theater was just go going dark and I couldn't really see where to sit, so I did set up toward the front, and um, man, this movie was intense as far as not really knowing what to expect. You know, that feeling of being scared, not knowing what's going to happen, um, your heart pounding. I do remember that exactly when I saw this film. And so to me, that right there would um, merit for a, a scary film. And I do remember enjoying this one very much. So that right there would be my number six. Okay, at number five... We have the original, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, man, I love this film. This right here is always in my top um, 10 horror movies of all times. Um, just because of the, the way that the film was created and shot back in 1974, I do believe. Um, it was just amazing. I, I love the way it looked. I loved the the, um, the the surprise kills in it, the way that Leatherface um, maneuvered himself throughout the um, house and out chasing the people around. Um, so I enjoyed that, and that is my number five. Okay, at number four is the Amityville Horror. This will always be in my top ten horror movies of all times. I just love the Amityville Horror. I love the performances. I love the atmosphere and definitely the story and it being based on a true story. Same way with um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know, it's it's loosely based on true occurrences and the same way with the M.T. Vihar. Anything that's based on a true story, um, to me, is pretty scary because you know that these things have happened in the past to people. And anything to do with possession and a haunting of a house is always fun for me to watch. So at number four, it would be the Amityville Horror. Okay, at number three, um, of course, I'm going to go with Halloween. To me, the original Halloween is the best. There was nothing better than this. I remember seeing this as a kid and how scary it was. Um, Michael Myers, the way that he maneuvered himself, um, the way that you turn around and there he is and he kills you. 
to me it was just excellent. I really enjoyed this film, the performances, and just the way that it made me feel the first time I watched it, and the way that it still makes me feel whenever I watch it today. Okay, at number two, we have The Shining. To me, this right here is a very scary film. I just love the way that it was shot. I love the seclusion of the hotel, the Overlook Hotel, I believe is what it's called. Um, the Torrance family being there secluded in this hotel and the way that the family um, from the beginning to the middle to the end, the, the way the family changes and the different things that goes on in this hotel. Um, the creepiness of the twin girls, the, um, the Grady twins, I believe is what they're called, and the blood coming down in slow motion from the elevators, the old woman in the bathtub in the hotel room, um, um, I guess the little boy doing the um, little talking with Tony with his finger was always creepy. I just love this film. To me, this is a, this is the epitome of a scary movie, and so this right here would be my number two. Okay, at number one, which I hope would be no surprise to anyone, would be The Exorcist. I remember seeing The Exorcist as a kid and was just completely freaked out about it. Um, I think that the way that they portrayed this possession of this little girl was very believable. Um, I do believe that people can be possessed by demons, and I grew up believing these things. And so whenever you actually see this performance, um, it's pretty convincing, and you know, you're thinking, oh man, this could happen. So anything to do with demon possession or a haunting is something that I feel is you know, very plausible. And so to me, that was pretty scary as a kid. I really enjoyed this film. I enjoyed the the way that it wasn't full of a bunch of people. It's really focused there on the mother, the daughter, and the priest. And so anything that's kind of um, isolated to those types of characters was, was pretty scary to me. So those are my top 10 scary films of all times that I've actually seen that are in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular picks. And also let me know if there's any recommendations that you would have me check out as far as scary movies are concerned. I really do enjoy reading your comments. I do appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.